Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to convert text to numbers and uh, also show examples of how to convert numbers back to text. So when you have numbers presented here in the spreadsheet, um, the way that's held between a number that is stored as a text and is stored as a number is how it's aligned. Usually when numbers are stored, uh, it looks like what looks like numbers that are stored as text, they'll align to the left. And if the number is stored as a real number, I'll go into this example, it's aligned to the right. Uh, another way, to, if you want to really check it, is to use a function uh, to check. So this is, is number function. So if I click the function wizard, uh, you can see that it describes what this particular function does. This is number. So if it sees that the value is a number, it's going to return a true. If it's not a number, it will return a false. Uh, similar to if we want to look and see if the number is a text, there is a function called isText. And if we want to see if uh, that particular number is text, uh, it will turn, return a true if it is, a false if it's not. So let's go into the first examples of how to convert text to numbers. So I have my validations here to check if it's a number. And right now there is these numbers that are, are rep stored as text. Now the first way to do it is with the smart tag. So you may get uh, a list of numbers, or column numbers, or row of numbers, and you have this little uh, green triangle at the left. And when you click on that cell, you'll see that this smart tag shows up, and there is actually a shortcut menu that pops up when you click on it, and you can store this, convert this number, convert this to a number. See right now it says you get the number stored as text. So you convert to a number. Once I do that, the validation returns true. So that's one method, is using the smart tag. Uh, another method, of course, is editing within the cell. So you just, you're just in the cell, and you just type 38 here in this example, and it's going to return it back into a number. Another example is to copy and paste uh, and add a zero. So basically what you do is you just select any, any empty cell and control C to copy. And then you go to your cell, and then you go to Paste Special. And then the Paste Special window comes up, or the dialog box comes up, and you can just say Add. So you can add a zero to it. So basically, you're adding zero to it, and it's going to turn it into a number. Uh, another similar way to do it is go into an empty cell and type the number 1. Uh, I'm going to do Control Enter to stay within that cell. And also now I'm going to copy that cell, do Control C, and then go into the cell I want to change, and go into Paste Special, and I'm going to multiply, multiply by one. So basically, it's multiplying by one and converting it to a number. See now, now the validation sees that it's going to do it. The other way to do it is also is with a uh, a text to columns feature in Excel. So if I select this and go up to the Data tab and go to Text to Columns. I select that and go through the text to columns wizard. Basically, I can keep these parameters here delimited. I just click next. Yeah, I can just click next because I'm only in one column. It's only going to uh, convert it within that column. And if I keep this particular selection general, what it's going to do is it's con convert it to uh, the numeric values to a number. So you're going to see once I click finish, it's going to convert it to a number. See how now they're all right aligned? So that's true. Another way to do it is with the value function. So there is a function, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I'm, just, I'm going to use the value function for the cell A7. So with the value function, I'm just going to type equal value tab to complete it, and then select that cell, close parentheses, press enter, and the value function, you can see here in the function wizard, what value does is convert a text string to represent a number to a number. So basically, I turned it into a number, and so you, now you see all these validations are true. So that's text numbers. Let's go into the numbers to text. So there's kind of few options to convert numbers to text. Now, first, one of the one of the options you can do is add an empty space. So to add an empty space, what we're basically doing, I'm going to use this as uh, an editable column. So this is the same number. So what I'm going to do is type an equal sign and do. Uh, double quotes, double quotes, uh, and then the ampersand, and then select that cell. So basically what it's doing is adding an empty space. 
Now, so this validation to check if it's a text, it becomes true. So that's that's true. The other way to do it is with the text to columns feature. Similar to what we did for the text to numbers, there's also an option you can convert the numbers to text here. So I'm going to go back into the data tab, go to text to columns, and this I can keep the same. Just click next to go to the second step. And actually at the third step, that's where we're going to change it. So we're going to select the text radio button instead and that's going to change that number to text. Once I click finish you'll see that it has left aligned it and the validation is true. Now another way to turn a number into text is just to add a single quote. So if I add a single quote to this and press enter it turns that into a text field. Now I just wanted to highlight one additional uh, way to do it and that's oh, that's already uh, selecting your cell and going back to the home tab and going into general going into the um, uh, the number group go to general and then select text and once I type in a number here you'll see that it stores it as text uh, now you can't really do this or to someone something that's already stored as a number so if I type 33 here and I go it back into uh, here and select text. You can see that it looks like it is text, but it's not. If I look through the validation, if I go and do text, oops, I go is text equals is text. If I try to see if that is text, it's going to bring back false. So really, it left aligned it, but it really is not stored as text in Excel. So if you wanted to use this this way to do it, you have to format that cell first as text and then enter in your numbers. So there's the various ways we can convert text to numbers and numbers to text in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.